Well, there's a lot of debate over the potential benefits and harm of artificial intelligence. Experts agree there's great potential for its use in the field of medicine. Yeah, many believe it could be especially valuable at helping identify cancers much earlier. As we kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're looking at how AI is already aiding in early detection. It's a new tool taking the benefit of a mammogram to the next level. It's not anything that the patient would be able to see. It's something that we see on the detection side. So it's basically just an algorithm or annotations that are embedded into the patient images. And so it's an overlay on top of the imaging that we see when we're reviewing all of the imaging for the patient. Dr. Laura Dean is a breast imaging radiologist at the Cleveland Clinic. She says artificial intelligence can help spot more subtle findings on breast images. Studies find AI can also help radiologists be more efficient and accurate. Artificial intelligence is constantly learning from images showing known or proven cancers, and that information can then be applied when analyzing images. It's not taking the place of human specialists, but rather helping them do their job better. Dr. Dean uses AI in her practice and says there have already been multiple occasions where it detected something she couldn't see. I think everyone, and me included, we tend to be a little bit skeptical initially when we have something, you know, a task that a, a computer is performing. Um, it takes a little bit of time to learn trust and to kind of learn how to apply that to our practice. Um, but I think it's really exciting to see how this has helped aid our detection of breast cancer. We, of course, want to find breast cancers as early as we possibly can. And of course, step one is getting that mammogram. Women are urged to start annual screenings at age 40. Those who are at an increased risk may need to start screening sooner. That's why it's very, very important to have that discussion with your doctor.